Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Abandoned Miata build. Today we've got parts on parts on parts and we've been waiting to throw the serpentine belt accessory system on the car, throw the cooling system back together and rip a burnout. So let's get with it. Sweet. Yeah, I don't know. Here, I'm just gonna do it. No, it's about a million degrees. <laughs> that went surprisingly smooth. Okay. This is the first time we have the top down, boys. Don't really feel like a man with the top down, but it's down. <laughs> All right, John, tell us what you got there. So you see here, I got some of these uh, cooling fans. Are you a big fan of them? I am a huge, huge fan of these fans. This right here are some stickers from Miata Fix. Shout out to you for hooking up with these parts. Got some cool stickers and business cards. Are those business cards? I think business so. Business cards, yeah. Yeet. So shout out to him for the parts. And then we got oh. thermostat housing. Did he? Yes. Okay. So this is the uh, harmonic balancer and yeah. that one's a water pump. water pump. So yeah, we're gonna throw these on. Yeah. Do, you know, do we have hardware for this? I'm pretty sure it's still in the voice. Yeah, okay, let's check. Sweet. Just uh, let's check. All right, so let's just uh, get that crap out of here. Yeah, so we've got the bolts right here okay. for the water pump and then harmonic balancer, so we're good to go. Um, one thing that we are gonna need to do that we're going to go do right now is we're gonna go get the two belts we need. We need the serpentine belt and then the uh, power steering AC compressor belt. Yes. So we're gonna go we get that. We're gonna check and gasket. see. Yeah. We need gasket. This is an O-ring, right? Yeah, that's O-ring. Oh, okay. No, so no. we're gonna see about, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we need to get thermostat wise, go get some hose. We also need an upper radiator hose. So we're gonna run to the store and go get all that stuff. horsepower stock with just just a fuel tune mods then we had to be a youtuber one-on-one race everything and race. <laughs> and act like you know 400 crank horse is just insane, in, insane. because it is yes yeah because it is and that we're in mexico 
Yeah. Okay, today's video is sponsored by John's Wallet. So thank you, John's Wallet, for sponsoring today's Miata video. It doesn't care. We need a gasket on there though. Yeah, that's probably important. I was testing to see if John was paying attention. Where the gasket? <laughs> Where? Right in front of you. What? I've never seen that before. Really? Yeah, I've never seen a gasket that had uh, adhesive on it. So now the question is, which side do we stick it to? I'm gonna guess this one, because that's the side it was stuck to. Minty. That was my face. Minty. What was the, with the music? Oh, it makes me happy to see a freaking thermostat housing on here. And a thermostat. Yeah. I, pull, I know what's in there. Yeah. I, in there. I pull the thermostats out of most of the stuff I own, so. That part I don't care about. You ever have a car with an overheating problem? Pull the thermostat out. You're good. I've done that twice, and I look back, and I'm just like, I'm so stupid. <laughs> It worked, and I needed, I didn't have money, and I needed to quit overheating, and it worked. But then I saw the next owner driving the car, and uh, he had it parked in front of work, and he had a piece of cardboard over the radiator in the winter because it wasn't heating up for him. <laughs> I was like, my bad. <laughs> All right. It's pretty great, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I felt kind of bad. So, it's all manual tension, it looks like. Yes. Wait a minute. The alternator is it adjustable? Yeah, it is. Great. I love manual tensioners. Perfect. <laughs> I'm just guesstimating. We got the belts on there. That was a pain in the keister, but we got it and they're all tensioned and tight. Good to go. So we uh, are throwing the hoses on the thermostat housing right here. And then of course we forgot to get the upper radiator hose. So one of us is gonna run and do that. And the other one's probably gonna stay here and keep buttoning stuff up. All right, boys, we got the fans installed, plugged in. John is running to the parts store to get the upper radiator hose. He'll be back in just a minute and we're gonna start filling it with coolant and go for a little test drive. Everything went pretty dang smooth. 
Tell them what happened, John. All right, so I just came back from the third trip, it feels like. Was it the third trip? Second. Second. Second trip from the store uh, because we forgot the upper radiator hose. So went to three different stores and one of them had it. And it was not cheap for this little L. So <laughs> we're taking the L on this one, literally. Yeah, literally. We're going to take the L on this one. So uh, it's a little long, so we're going to cut it down a little bit and it should fit pretty good after that. Did you get the clamps? <laughs> we'll find some. We'll find some. So yeah, we're going to get with yeah. it. Forgot the clamps. Almost like it was meant to. Perfect. Perfect. I. Right. <laughs> we forgot hose clamps, so we did the only logical thing, and we want to start it and drive it tonight. So we put some big old zip ties on there. And they're and probably tighter than the actual hose clamps. Like straight up, they're solid. Right. So we're gonna run it for a few minutes like that, and we'll just put hose clamps on it when we'll we get them. Make sure like nothing's leaking. Yeah. We're dumb, not stupid. <laughs> Is that. Where is that gonna rest? Okay, it rests on the thermos housing. Make sure it's not gonna hit any belts. you start it up then like ticking is extremely loud but like it quiets down we're gonna drive it really well the uh alternator charging the battery light went off so that's super good um i say we take some stuff out of the passenger seat and go for our first test drive up and down the road i mean we're we're good we're gonna need to burp the cooling system a little bit but we'll just keep an eye on it if the temperature starts to get hot then we'll we'll come burp it let's move some of this crap and go I'm gonna check to see if yeah. There is nothing better looking than two straight guys in a Miata with the top down. They don't know we're straight. And he cleans out the car for me. It's gotta be a gentleman. I already know you need that as far back as possible. Yeah, I do. I'm not gonna clean your seat for you though. It's all right. I'm a man, I can handle dirtiness. Oh my gosh, this is literally, literally a go-kart, guys. Dude, I'm, oops, I'm stoked, guys. We got soft brakes and... Yeah, we do need to bleed those. But, oh, seatbelts are losers. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, this is the first official test drive. The coolant temperature gauge is rising, which is good. It's <laughs> maxed out. It's great. Brakes are working. Brakes work. I mean, they're they're soft as heck, but they're working. And I look like a fool with this clutch because I'm trying not to dump it, trying not to kill the car. <laughs> We're driving our Miata, boys. The clutch doesn't engage to like three quarters of the way out. Yeah. Do you hear any knocking or ticking? I, I can hear it a little bit. Sounds like an exhaust leak. 
I can hardly hear it. Like, barely hear it. I'm gonna turn around right here. Oh, yeah, to the brake fluid. Yeah. Temperature's up. It's actually, it's actually kind it's of actually, peppy. It honestly is kind of peppy. I forgot about the brakes. I'm like, I need to slow down. Dude. Okay, and yeah. I can I can hear the ticking just a little bit now. We need to run it with but some ATF in it. I mean, shoot, we've only been driving it for what <laughs> two minutes now, yeah. so I. But it is not that loud at all. No. Temperature is already at the halfway mark, which seems a little quick to me. But we're gonna let it sit for a minute and idle and open it while it's hot and get covered in hot coolant. Huh? Temperature gauge at the halfway point. It's got great oil pressure. Yeah. Almost a full tank of fuel. So I heck yeah. Nice. Yeah? John's first drive. Oh, that clutch is soft. Right? Soft. It's still making a lot of noise. It's not happy at all. But we're going to run it with some ATF in there and then do an oil change with some Rotella T6 and see if that quiets it down. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Right? I told you. Dude, we got ice cold AC. Of course, it just bogged <laughs> out and died, so. So, yeah. Well, nothing. Yep. That's not what happened. Sweet. Check this oh. out. It's good yeah. we didn't have a zip tie. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna get some hose clamps and uh, put them on so that we can quit leaking coolant. In the next video, we're gonna do an oil change. First, we're gonna put a quart of ATF in it run it see if that quiets it down then we're gonna do an oil change with some rotella t6 so thank you guys so much for watching today's video we really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to stay hungry stay humble stay motivated and we'll see you in the next one bye